Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Elemental Maker. Today, finally scored big time. <laughs> so, on my last video, quite a few of you guys mentioned me getting a proper power supply. And perfect timing, I, I happened to go on Facebook Marketplace and found these two power supplies. Now they are Sorensen, which I have no idea they're, but they apparently are a really good brand name power supply. And they're nice old beefy switching power supplies. I mean these things are so sweet. So we have one that has a 15 volt range, so you can see it goes up to about 15.6 volts and it outputs up to 20 amps. So that'll handle every damn project I can really think of throwing at it. And then over here, we have a zero to 60 volt, five amp power supply, which is excellent. You can see it actually goes up to 63 volts. So a little bit over the rating there. Really nice adjustment on these suckers. The only downside is they don't have the banana terminals up front. So I think in an upcoming video, we're probably gonna 3D print something to go up here to give me some terminals, or maybe on the bottom to actually just have some nice, easy plug-in terminals. The pain in the ass of these things is, you can see where the terminals actually are, they're on the back, which is not super convenient. It's also not a, certainly not a deal breaker at this price. These were 20 bucks each, which is absolutely awesome. So I'm super, super excited about putting these things to use. And let's see if we can run a quick test here. So, so what I got here are three 10 watt LEDs. They're rated for 10 volts at one amp, I do believe. And we'll flip this sucker around so I can hook up to her. You can see a couple of the, now these are cheap Chinese LEDs, so the, the diodes aren't binned very well, so some of them conduct a lot faster than others. So you're just starting to see just the, the better ones kicking on. Oh, and I'm on the 15 volt power supply. Son of a bitch. Kill that, and I'll hook up to the 60 volt. Obviously, if these are 10 volts each, we're gonna need at least 30 volts to get them cranking. So we're at 20 volts, and according to this, 0 0.01 amps. I'll grab my plant meter and actually test that. 30.8 volts, 1.18 here, 1.34 there. So not, not horribly off, but it is enough that if you're doing a really sensitive experiment where you need the exact current limited properly, I am going to have to use a different setup. So, see how fast this sucker charges up a capacitor. We'll limit the current here. Now, of course, if we up the current, we'd be able to do that in no time. Uh, nothing like arcing and sparking. So let's up the current, see if this has any lag. That's right there. Oh yeah. So, super useful for charging batteries, running LEDs. This is gonna be freaking awesome. A lot of projects we can do with this sucker. And of course, it's, it's twin the 15 volt 20 amp supply. I mean 20 bucks a piece. That is a find. So keep your eyes open guys. They will definitely be put to use here. And of course, also can't forget this sucker, the 5 volt 60 amp supply. This is going to be powering the HHO cell, which I have upgraded. <laughs> and you guys will be seeing that on the next video. It is bad ass now. Now to top off the power supply extravaganza, I picked up two old microwaves and hopefully with these I'm going to be taking out the microwave oven transformers, rewinding the secondaries, 
and making an arc furnace. Now I know the King of Random did that, but in my opinion his arc furnace was a little bit on the redneck side of things. I'm hoping to do something a little nicer where I can actually do some pretty cool experiments such as creating calcium carbide using the electric arc process and a slew of other ideas that I have. So, <laughs> just another another cherry on the icing there. Or what? Cherry on the whipped cream? Something. Something creamy with cherries. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was just a quick kind of bullshit test of the power supplies, but just wanted to make sure these suckers worked all right and uh, let you guys see them.